Hi Graham, thanks Hello. for letting me come and ask you some questions, things I've always wanted to know. You went to art school, didn't you? Yes. And when, what did you do when you'd been to art school? What was your first sort of job? My first job was in a commercial art studio. Oh, really? So... Yes. What was that, in London? Yes. But you went and to art school up, up in the north though, didn't you? In Warrington. So it must uh, have been quite an adventure coming down to London, wasn't it? Uh, not so much an adventure. It's, uh, um, it was a pretty frightening experience, actually, because... Had, had you been to London before? Yes, but I, I knew nothing about how you would actually obtain a job. So what sort of jobs were you doing? Oh, very basic jobs. Um, I mean, one job I remember, there was an advertisement for Sloan's Little Liver Pills. <laughs> and um, it said, here's the pain, here's, here's the pill, where's the pain? I drew the arrow pointing <laughs> to where the pain was on, on, on a figure that somebody else had drawn. I lasted nice. there for six months and then they had enough of me. But fortunately, a friend of mine was studying drama at Bradford Civic Theatre School. Oh, yeah. And they'd always been rather interested in designing stage sets. And he said, try and get a grant and come here, which I did, and I managed to get one. So I went to the Bradford Civic Theatre School. So there you were working in the theatre. So were you doing actually painting a set yes. as well as designing it? Yeah. I, I worked in repertory where the, the designer paints the sets. And, but when I finished with that, I went to London, and then I got a job at the Royal Opera House. So that sounds really exciting. Uh, it was for me, being a, a fan of opera and ballet, yes. I mean, one, one person I had uh, assisted was John Piper. Oh, big artist. Yes, but I mean, I, I, it's a very humble position one had. We were called production assistants. But, um, and I worked in a department called the model room, where we turned um, the designers, like Piper's designs, into stage set. Right. We were essentially doing the working drawings for the carpenters oh. to make oh, the really? scenery and making models to for the directors to work, the producers to use. But then you got a, work, a, a job at the BBC, didn't you? So what was it about um, the BBC that made you want to join it? Uh, well, I, I always liked designing sets. Did you I'm have friends the... there that were already no, there? No, no. So that was, very, again, very enterprising to... Well, not really. I mean, one just wrote to them. Um, mm. uh, people seem more inclined to see to see um, the people in those days. And you, you um, had quite a lot of... Um, by then, you'd done a lot of different jobs and sh showed that you could design sets and yes. you had to get people to design to build things. You yes. could do the working drawings to build stuff. Yeah. So was it a big yeah. art department? Huge. Was, was, so, was that for the whole of every single programme that the BBC did? did yes, come out of course they, they made all the programmes themselves in those days. That must have been quite a lot of fun. Yeah. So you were working there when you decided, I've had enough of this, I'm going to start doing drawings uh, of my I own. I started doing, I was still doing illustration all the time I was at the BBC. Oh, I see. So you'd been um, moonlighting as an illustrator. Yes. Oh, so so did you get quite well known as an illustrator? Well, I was certainly getting years. more work as I ever than than I ever did as a freelance book illustrator, and mm. it was due to um, um, working for Macmillan's and knowing the art department. Oh, that's that a... um, they suggested that I should try doing a book with my own stories. Oh, I see. So they um, put the idea into your head? Yes. Ah. So, um, and then you came up with the idea of the, the church mouse and the church cat? Yes, well, the very first one I did, in fact, was Magical Changes, but, um, mm. but no one would take that, even Macmillan's wouldn't. So you, would, you actually wrote and illustrated that, which I've seen before, which is quite a complicated book. Well, while it's a split you, page book. There's yeah. no, no actual text in it. It's but you no were words. doing that while you were still working at the BBC. Yeah. What sort of um, programmes were you working on at the BBC? Would we have, do we know them? Can we remember them? Well, um, my last uh, programme was a production of Treasure Island. Oh, fantastic. And I, I remember doing How Green Was My Valley. Oh, yeah, that's really well known. 
and and I did all the usual things like said cars and softly, you did, softly oh, and you did doom all those. watch. Yeah. Oh, I remember watching those when I was a child, at the um, Z car especially. Yes. Yeah. Because the first thing I ever did was a Z car, that's when I became a designer. Was that all filmed live? Yes. I mm. thought so. And they didn't keep any of... they never recorded it, did they, some of them? Uh, I think we recorded some, because I've seen them later and the production qualities are not exactly high. And then they threw them all away, didn't they? I think so. But some of the people that worked in those programmes did really well, don't they? Oh, yes. Or the stars, yeah. they became stars from those. Well, they days. moved into a programme called Softly Softly. Yeah, which was great. And I did the first Softly Softly in colour. Cool, that was exciting. Mm. Yeah. So I'm interested in your drawing style. So I, I realise, now I've spoken to you, you've, I heard you've done the set design. So you must have learned how to do things in a very realistic way because yes. you had to draw buildings that looked convincing as buildings for the backdrops of programs and things. Yes. So that is, that is why your drawing style for doing the church mice is very realistic. And you're obviously very interested in the actual architecture and the buildings. Yes, well, the background is very important in the story. So mm. the, the, one of the lovely things about the church mice books, I think, is the towns and the settings of Warplethorpe and all the streets yes. and the perspective and things and it actually sh I think when when you find out that you could you did these designs for films you have very interesting viewpoints for these streets and things which I think is so clever uh, well I did a kind of plan of the town I didn't actually keep to it all that accurately in the end if one studied all, all the church mice books you would find that it didn't necessarily work out <laughs> the of the town. Oh, so um, if you were uh, trying to find your way around the town from the books, you'd get a bit lost. You could find your way for the first couple of streets from the church gate, but after that it gets a bit vague. <laughs> so, um, when you, so you did your first church mouse and the church cat book, and when did you show that to a publisher? At what point had you... Had you done any of the pictures or had you just written the story? I'd done a rough, uh, mm. a, a dummy of the book. Oh, so you had, yeah. And um, I showed it to the art editor who I was then illustrating a, a book, I think it was called Grandmother's Footsteps, <laughs> which I was illustrating for them. And mm. I then showed the art editor the, the dummy. And Were they the, thrilled? Uh, well, I don't know about thrilled, but they took it up and, and eventually agreed that I should do it. So you make it sound as if they were very grudging. I bet they ate no, their they words really, later yes. on. They were, they were very encouraging, actually. It. So did the, at that point, did they say, what about having lots of church mice? Well, lots of mice actually come into the first one. Oh, I that's, see. Because that's the whole plot, that the mouse brings lots of other mice into the church. So were you using the same technique for illustrating as you had been using for stage set design? Um, well, in television design you rarely actually did a visual of the set. It was mainly all working drawings. You worked mm -hmm. from, just did working drawings mm -hmm. and, and then indicated various colours on the working drawing, so you never actually did a visual, mm. but um, lots of us did um, did them just for our own amusement, lots of designers did, I was one who did, and yes, um, the backgrounds I did in the church mice are like some of the visuals I did in television. So you use watercolours, don't you? Watercolour and then usually with gouache to finish them off. So how long does a church mouse book take you to do? It used to take me on average about six months. And that was work... So when you did your first one, you were still working in the BBC, weren't well, you? Well, oddly enough, when I was still working at the BBC, I did the books quicker than I ever did when I was doing them freelance. It's because you had the luxury yeah. later on, the luxury of spending longer. Yes. So, but you must enjoy the actual process of the painting. Yes, I do. 
So, um, do you think you might sh should be able to show me some of your painting? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, I'd love to see it. 